Hey guys, Chad Chalkerman here. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to export your Flash files so that you can upload them to YouTube. Now, I uploaded a similar tutorial yesterday, kind of going over how to export a bunch of different things. But people have been requesting to get right to the point with the YouTube stuff, and that is why I'm doing this. So let's begin. First, you're going to obviously have your movie done and ready to go. And as you can see, I have a just a short little movie here for a test so we can test this out. So once your movie is all done and you're ready to export it to YouTube, we are going to go to File, Export, Export Movie. And we're going to go ahead and find the folder that we want to put it in, which I already have it here. Now, when you go to Format, you are going to choose QuickTime, just like that, and now you're going to go to Save. Now you're going to come up with a bunch of different options here. Now first I'll point out the uh, store temp data. This can be important, Consider it depends on how long your movie is and how extensive your movie is. And as it says here, you can have it in memory, which is recommended for high frame rates, or on disk, recommended for longer movies. This basically just allows you to export it in different ways, and it could tweak the results of how your movie plays back when it's rendered. My recommendation would be to experiment with both of these options. Just try both of them and see which one gives you the best results. Another thing you can do is go to QuickTime settings located right here, and you can play with the codecs and all that kind of stuff. Now, it's automatically set to animation, the compression type. And this is usually a pretty good compression type. If you're not going to use animation, the other one I would recommend, if you have it, is H.264. That one also gives you good results. But when you're just starting out, I would stick with animation just to see how it works. And again, when you're in these settings, you can also tweak you know how the quality is and the colors and all that kind of stuff. And again, you probably would want to set it to best because YouTube allows pretty big file size uploads. So it shouldn't be a problem unless if your movie is really, really long, which in case it won't go on YouTube anyway because there's a 10 minute time limit. So if you go to OK, you can leave your sound, you can adjust the sound settings if you want, but usually I wouldn't recommend that. So we have everything set here, just go to OK and then we just simply go to export and then the file will go ahead and export and as you can see <clears throat> it's just going through and you can see the little dialog box here and once this is done I will go ahead and show you what it looks like in QuickTime so we can see that okay now I'm going to go to my file which I just created which is right here in my folder, and I'm going to double click on it. And I'm going to go ahead and play it. And as you can see, it worked just fine. It's now exported, it's a movie, and that's what we need. We want a movie file to upload to YouTube. So once you have done that, <clears throat> you simply go to YouTube and you upload the file like you would any other video, and it will appear online and everyone can enjoy it. And that is how you upload, or export rather, videos to upload to YouTube. I hope you guys found this helpful and I'll see you guys next time.